بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو لیکچر ٹین پارٹ ون آف دا انٹروڈکشن ٹو کمپیوٹنگ کورس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ان پٹ ڈیوائسز سو فار وی ڈسکسڈ دا ڈفرینٹ پارٹس آف کمپیوٹر دا ڈفرینٹ پارٹس آف سسٹم یونٹ بٹ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو گو ان سائڈ دا ڈیٹیلس آف دا ان پٹ ڈیوائسز سو وائی وٹ آر دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ان پٹ ڈیوائسز ہاؤ وی کین یوز اٹ Um, what are the difference between the different types of input de- input devices so there is a lot of detail so inshallah we are going to go step by step so first uh, let us discuss the objective of our today's lecture we are going to divide define what is an input list characteristics of a keyboard device describe the different mouse types and how they work summarize how pointing devices works uh, ex- explain how voice recognition works describe various input devices for mobile users explain how the digital camera works describe the use of pc video cameras webcam and video conferencing discuss various scanners and reading device and how they work explain the types of terminal and the purpose of the card readers summarize the various types of biometric devices and then in the last we are going to identify alternative input device for physically challenged users so the first thing what is an input so an input is like you can say data or instruction entered into the memory of a computer is called input so we used to give data and instruction so the data and instruction for a computer system it is important to give data and instruction without data and instruction computer is uh, like useless machine you cannot computer cannot do something or anything without data and instruction so input device is an is an any hardware component used to enter that data or instruction inside the memory of the computer system so you can have keyboard mouse touch screen digital pen input vo- voice input digital cameras video scanner so all these are types of input devices then they give different types of data and instruction to the computer memory or to the computer cpu so what are the two types of input so the two two types of input are data and instruction so data is unprocessed text number images and videos and instruction are programs commands and user responses so both data and instruction are inser- inserted or entered into the computer system so uh this is uh, like a server broadly can get uh, it, the price is 12.50 per hour for for, for for 42 hours so you can see that we have different types of programs payroll word processing programs we have commands print card command check spelling of uh, time cards user responses so there is a lot of um, data entered into the, into the computer system and a lot of instructions are also running so remember the instruction is used to operate on the data uh, and i mean you cannot run instruction all alone you have to provide data and similarly you cannot only give data to the computer system you have to provide the programs the instruction the commands that operate on the data uh, in order to process it and then gives the result back to the user so then uh, the most commonly used input device is the keyboard device but a uh, keyboard device is further divided into different areas or into different parts so we have a typing area a numeric keyboard so you can see all the details over here functions keys uh, function keys special keys that issue commands so we have like uh, this is your typical keyboard and these are typing area uh, it start from 1 2 3 up to 0 uh, small and capital letters and the, we have application keys windows keys a rest area where you like put your hand and windows keys numeric keypad arrow keys also called cursor keys additional keys for print or for uh, delete something or for or for print screen etc we have i mean uh, you won't see it in most of the uh, like a keyboard but um, this keyboard comes also comes with the intro- internet control keys and the dvd control keys function keys um and um, so all are, are i mean you can see that um, we have divided um, the keyboard into different types of keys depending upon their functionalities so most of the time we work with this uh, typing area um so you should also be familiar with the function keys because you use it especially in games and uh, of course of course uh, the cursor keys and the additional keys so if you have a larger keyboard 
then it may comes with this numeric keypad we can where you can perform uh, a different calculation and arithmetic operation so what what are the alternative forms of commands so many programs allow you to use key combination menu or button to obtain same result so if you have we have a microsoft word key combination equivalent so for example for copy you can write control plus c you can press control plus c or shift plus f2 or you can just go to menu go to edit and just click copy or uh, copy and you also we have also icon for this copy button so here we can see that uh, another copy is uh, made of this uh, previously uh, page so similarly for open you can use control plus f12 or go to file open this is a, a icon for open command you can see a folder is open showing us that you can open any file and then for paste we use normally use control plus v or you can go to edit and paste so on top of this uh, this thing we paste a page so depending upon uh, the use of a computer system you can use these shortcut keys it is very easy to remember these shortcut keys like for example for copy we have control plus c because c start with a copy but you may said uh, you may ask that why then we don't use control plus p for the paste this is because control plus p p is already used for the print command and we use v because on the keyboard v is very near to the c so when you copy you also paste so that is why these combination uh, works uh, these two keys works in a combination and that is why we have assigned the key v to the paste operation so what is an what is the insertion point uh, insertion point in microsoft word is a point where you insert data where the mouse cursor or the cursor is blinking blinking vertical bar that indicates where the next character you type will display pointer changes location and shape as you move mouse or other pointing device so if you are giving data to your computer system so then the cursor may change its appearance depending upon how you enter data or where the location of the cursor is so what are other types of keyboard so there are like cordless keyboard is battery powered uh, keyboard and transmit data using wireless technology notebook and many handheld uh, keyboards have built in um, keyboards there are lots of different types of keyboard that you can use uh, there is a special type of keyboard called ergonomic keyboard designed to minimize strain and ha on hands and wrist ergonomics uh, incorporates comfort efficiency uh, safety into the design of items in workplace so this is a type of ergonomic computer so this is designed in order to minimize the strain on hand and wrist so i mean i have used it rarely but if you uh, like have the budget you can buy it and then use it and feel the difference that how much different this keyboard is or how easy or how efficient this keyboard is as compared to the normal keyboard we have a very special type of an input device called a mouse the mouse is there because a lot of people want to use a mouse because they uh, feel reluctant or they feel hesitant when they uh, they input uh, command or uh, type uh, the keys on the keyboard so for them the keyboard um, the device is there they just have to point and click and the command will be executed so the, it's a pointing device that fits under the palm of your hand we have mouse button you can see over here this is the uh, left mouse button right mouse button and then we have a wheel button and then we have a ball which i mean rotate and we are able to move the cursor of the computer on uh, the screen a pointing device control movement of the pointer also called mouse pointer mechanical mouse has a rubber or a metal ball uh, on under we also have uh, now electrical mouse uh, uh, that that can be used to like um, uh, like uh, position the um, um, position the arrow uh, at some particular point but a few people are using a laptop so laptops come with the touch pad so there is no need to then use the mouse uh, we also have a um, optical mouse this is a type of optical mouse we have a wheel button a forward button back button and optical sensor so the movement your hand movement or mouse movement is sensed by this optical sensor and the uh, mouse cursor is placed accordingly no moving mechanical parts inside sense light to detect mouse movement 
more precise than mechanical mouse connects using cable or wireless so there are different types of uh, optical device some are wireless some are used uh, cable and some uses cable for for giving data to the computer system so why do you people use a mouse uh, as you move mouse pointer on the screen moves so here you can see place the mouse towards the right of the mouse pad number 2 move the mouse diagonally towards the left until the pointer is position on the microsoft outlook icon so you with just the movement of this mouse you can point to a particular application program and then you can double click it and then that program gets executed so it is very easy to work with the computer if you are using the mouse what are the common mouse operation so we point we click double click triple click right click we drag and uh, right drag and then we rotate the wheel we press wheel we also left drag right drag click double click and drag so these are the different operation that you perform on while you, you are using the mouse so uh, we also have a track ball a stationary pointing device with a ball on its top so to move the pointer rotate ball with thumbs Uh, fingers and palm so there are a lot of uh, pointing device that comes with a track ball which is like a stationary pointing device with the ball on top so this is stationary it means that it won't move but the but the you can move the ball so as compared to the norm, normal mouse the ball is on top of this mouse uh, to move pointer rotate ball with thumb fingers and palm of the hand so you will see the movement of cursor accordingly then uh, a lot of uh, laptops uh, computer come with touchpad and uh, pointing stick touchpad is a small flat rectangular pointing device sensitive to pressure and motion so if you place uh, your finger on top of this touchpad so it will act like a mouse so you can then uh, you can then position the cursor you can move left right up down whatever you want uh pointing um, we also have a pointing stick so this this small uh, circle area is a pointing stick uh, the, a lot of people prefer it so that is why manufacturers uh, built uh, the laptop uh, having mouse uh, mouse stick a mouse stick is pointing device shaped like pencil eraser position between keys on the keyboard so it's up to you whether you like it or you use it but a lot of people are comfortable in using this mouse stick because uh, you just uh, like with typing uh you have integrated mouse stick and you can then position the mouse cursor anywhere and then we have uh, we can also have like um, uh, touchpad over here uh, having a left and right uh, click button so the computers laptop smartphone all come in different varieties and formation and it's up to you uh, how you use a particular device or for with which device you are more comfortable with what are the joystick and wheels so a lot of people use these joysticks nowadays because uh, they like to play game uh, joysticks are often used by children by people who like game joystick is a vertical lever mounted on a base so you just hold this and you like uh, click these buttons and the movement will also uh, move the player uh, uh, which is uh, displayed on the monitor screen wheel so this is a wheel it's like uh, giving you the real experience of uh, driving or whatever you are doing is a steering wheel type input device pedal simulates car brakes and accelerator so this is like a simulator so we have a uh, steering wheel and pedals so you can like even you can uh, learn how to drive if you have these types of input device or you can play different types of uh, amazing interactive games um, and like uh, i have experienced that lot of students or people are so much addictive to these games because they are very uh, interesting and uh, very like simulating uh, they look like a real life um, game so yeah, it's up to you like whether you like it uh, i think if you have a free time you should experience it at least you should experience this input device we also have a special type of input device called the light pen you can directly right on the computer screen using this li uh, light pen it's a hand hand handheld handheld input device that can detect light press light pen against the screen surface and then press the button on the on pen so then you will start writing something on the screen so with that i am going to 
see the time okay we still have a lot of time so as I said uh, a light pen um, is a handheld input device that can detect light press light pen against screen surface and then press the button on the pen so you will experience that the pen is writing on the screen so you can directly write on the computer screen uh, uh, a lot of uh, laptops nowadays come with the touch screen capabilities so you can directly give the commands using this uh, using uh, the touch screen so you can input data you can press the button so you will see that the computer accept your command through the screen touch area of the screen with the fingers often used uh, with kiosks often you use uh, these types of uh, touch screen in ATM uh, machines and in kiosks and uh, like we have you have to perform different types of transaction we have another special type of pointing device called a stylus looks like a ball point pen but user pressures uh, pressure to write text and draw lines used with graphics tablets flat uh, electronic board electronic signature legal signature created using specialized soft special software stylus and graphic uh, tablet so you can see here this is a type of uh, artist using pen so you, you write here and the same type of is uh, same thing is drawn over here and then you can also see civil engineer using a cursor so with this cursor this is a stylus and you uh, like draw something map or the building architecture or whatever you like why are stylus used some desktop computers uh, they are used in some desktop computers so uh, this is an example pen for computer monitor digital pen for tablet pc stylus for pda so hand hand handwriting recognition so, software translate handwriting into characters that computer can process so you can use this stylus for hand hand recognition you can insert your signature or you can like perform other types of operation you can give command to the computer you can click on the menu and then you can click on sub menu and th then give different types of commands so that is why handheld is uh, like a screen and a pen pen and you give different commands to the computer system uh, nowadays we also have a computer that can recognize your vo voice so how this voice is recognized this voice is recognized using a specialized type of technology called machine learning where machine able is able to interpret your mo uh, your vo voice so the machine first learns uh, your uh, characteristics of your voice and then uh, if it uh, after the learning process it allows you to input your voice give different types of commands and then these commands are executed so in step number one a user dictate a text into a microphone so and then that text is understood and translated into machine learning form uh, uh, in step number two so an, an analog to digital converter ADC translates sound waves into digital measurements computer can process measurement include pitch so these are different characteristics of your voice volume silences and uh, phonemes phonemes sounds units such as all oh, god all these are phonemes so in step number three software compares spoken measurement with those in its database to find the match so this is where the machine learning works so uh, to find a match and list of possible matches so uh, you you are you are right right so these different um, these are the different types of matches that software compares so <coughs> <coughs> if there is a comparison then uh, your text your right is displayed if there is correct comparison you then your text is displayed on the screen your right and your right are displayed on the screen to narrow a list down software present user with a list of choices so even the user is provided with a list of choices or user with a natural language component to predict most likely match user may correct any selection made by the software so further in the last stage the user is given a chance to correct uh, its uh, command by uh, selecting out of many options okay so with that let us move on we have a special type of input device called MIDI musical instrument digital interface 
so the, uh, here you can see that musical instrument digital interface it's an external device such as electronic piano keyboard to input music and sound effect so how the data enter into a PDA so now because uh, we uh, have a special type of computer called for mobile user called PDA so how the data is entered I mean the process is almost same as you enter the data into your desktop computer so we have uh, we have a screen and you can like uh, directly interact with the screen which touch uh, touch screen system we have on screen keyboard a stylus so you can see this stylus working with different types of simple handwriting recognition characters you can connect memory card, telephone kit, digital cameras, voice recorder, cradle, etc. Uh, to this uh, PDA. Uh, you can also connect this mini keyboard to this PDA. So it has a plug and play configuration. So uh, the data is then uh, translated into a binary form where uh, then the processor interprets it, executes it, interprets it and the result is shown back to the user on the PDA screen. We also have a portable a keyboard where, which you can carry so you can connect this keyboard to the PDA so um, these are the different types of keyboard uh, you can like assemble them, disassemble them, uh, carry uh, them with you into your office, to your home, to anywhere. Full, these are full size keyboard you conventionally attach to and remove from the PDA. So we also have a virtual keyboard so this is a, normally an advanced form of keyboard. Uh, it's project infrared image of keyboard onto the flat surface so we this is a virtual keyboard it's a virtual infrared keyboard and this is like a type of receiver where you input um, press your fingers against each uh, digit or letter or character and then um, the infrared uh, processor uh, recognize those input and then um, give uh, that data further to the computer system we also have a docking station, uh, external device that hold mobile computers. So this this is like a docking station that hold mobile computer and mobile computer is further connected uh, with the keyboard or with CD-ROM drive, etc. So uh, so the docking station can hold digital pen, tablet, PC, anything you want. Uh, I I know that you people have rarely seen these things, but these are different varieties of input devices. Just as I told you in the very first minute of this lecture that there are many different types of input devices that you can work with. External device that holds mobile computer provides connection to the peripherals etc. Uh, this type of input device uh, is used by you people. It's, it's a digital camera allows you to take digital picture. Nowadays the smartphone have a very good digital camera so uh, you uh, rarely uh, use uh, these types of camera. Um, images viewable immediately on the camera download to computer or post pictures on the web so you can uh, download these uh, pictures to your computer or transfer it to your computer you can post them on the whatsapp group or on the uh, web whatever you like but these act also like an input so you take the picture and then give that picture as an input to the processor how does a digital camera works so there are different steps uh, in step number one uh, point to the image to photograph and take picture light passes into the lens of the camera so a light is passed from the external surrounding or from the external environment to in, um, into the uh, lens of the camera in step number two image is focused on the chip called a charge coupled device ccd so image is then focused on a chip called charge coupled device so in step number three CCT CCD generates an analog signal that represent an image <coughs> so then uh, through this uh, analog signal an image is converted into in, I mean, an analog signal and then um, it is stored inside a, a digital camera memory analog signal is further converted into digital signals by analog to digital converter ADC in step number five digital signal processor dsp adjust quality of image and usually store digital image on the miniature mobile storage media in the camera so the uh, image is stored digitally on the uh, storage media inside the camera 
In step number six, images are images are transferred to a computer hard disk by plugging one end of the cable to the camera and the other end to the computer. Or images are copied to hard disk from the storage media using the camera. So uh, you have to then transfer the photos that you have taken that are inside the memory of a camera to the computer, or you can transfer it to your uh, smartphone system and then using software supplied with the camera images are viewed on the screen incorporated into documents edited and printed and viewed on the screen or you can share it on the web so there are uh, different options but but this is how you take photo using camera and then uh, through different processes like the ccd adc dsp you change that image to in a digital form then store it in the camera and then you transfer it on the computer screen where you can document edit view it print it or whatever you like you can do it um, there is a special term often used when you use digital camera and that is called a resolution sharpness resolution is the sharpness and clarity of image the higher the resolution the better the image quality but the more expensive the camera so you have to make a trade-off because the higher the resolution the better the image but you have to then uh, spend more money on buying the camera pixel is picture element uh, P I E uh, E L. It's a picture element. is a single point in electronic image. So this is, you can see, this is a single point. So this is called a pixel on the electronic image. Smallest element in an electronic image. Greater number of pixel it means the better the image quality. So if you have greater number of pixel, it means the better the quality of image will be. Okay, we can also supply input in the video form. So what is then video input process of entering full motion images into computer video capture card is adapter card that converts analog video signal into digital signal that computer can use for example digital video camera records video as digital signal so you can record videos using digital video cameras uh, as a digital signals so here you can see we have a video camera video displayed on the television and notebook computer so you make um, the video using your uh, digital video camera and then uh, that video is transferred to the computer system so what are the pc video camera and webcam so the cameras have variety of forms uh, you can have pc video camera or webcam pc video camera uh, DV camera used to capture video and still image and it to make video telephone calls on the internet so if you are interested in um, chatting or calling uh, with your family members or with your friend then you can use PC digital camera because it allows you it displayed your video uh, uh, and the video of your uh, family member uh, on the screen it is also called PC camera Webcam is a video camera whose uh, output displayed on the web page. So we have then a specialized type of a webcam where I mean similar to PC uh, camera uh, where you can like display your images or videos to your friend, family members, etc. So there is a special uh, uh, concept nowadays very often used by different types of organization and this is called video conferences, uh, conferencing. So what is video conferencing? In video conferencing, two or more geographically separated people who use network on internet to transmit audio and data. So two or more graphically separated people are able to transmit video and audio data. So uh, I have experienced that a lot of professional uses it for, uh, for their online meeting. Um, they like um, they sit in geographically separated area and then they are connected through the internet and then they share their data video audio and they uh, then do the online meeting whiteboard is another window on the screen that can display notes and drawings simultaneously on all participant screen so then um, parallel to the uh, parallel to the uh, video conferencing we have a whiteboard that is able to that is able to and display notes and drawings simultaneously on all participant um, uh, all participant screens and then we have a very useful input device called the scanner uh, it is a light sensing device that reads printed text and graphics so these are different types of scanner flatbed pen or handheld 
sheet fed drum so you can scan documents pictures and then you can convert it into digital form and store it inside the computer used for image processing converting paper document into electronic images how does the flatbox scanner works so i think i should stop here because it will be very difficult for you people to absorb but remember that scanner are used to uh, like uh, process uh, images um, uh, documents uh, and then scan them convert them into digital form and then transfer them into computer memory and then you can then use those document to print it further to edit it or to process it to or whatever do you want so with that i think i should end the lecture here inshallah we are going to meet in the next lecture uh, till then uh, take care and